lot of pores on that side over there, man. Damn. Oh, oh, y'all look at this right quick, man. Y'all look at this right quick. Babies, you're in a long time. Old square body Chevy Caprice, man. Guaranteed that's probably an 85 model right there. Golly. Mario, he came back just in time. Came back just in time for the party, baby. Just in time, too, man. Oof, y'all, I had a crazy weekend, man. Crazy weekend with Angie, man. Oof, that girl right there, boy, y'all, man, she is something special, man. That's all I can say. She is something special. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I ain't going to be able to talk about it because it is... Ooh, man, it's like pornographic, baby. Golly, I tell you, man, that, I can tell you, man, that's one woman right there that knows how to satisfy a man. Man, when the last time anybody seen a 91, 92 Mazda MX-6? Man, it has been a while since I seen one of these damn cars. It has been many. I can't even tell you the last time I even seen one. It's been that long. Man, I was surprised to see this one right up over there. Because I had this one, I had this one ducked off for a reason. And here come Mr. Pancho Sancho coming over there messing with my cars, messing up every damn thing. But it is what it is. Shit, I'm not complaining about nothing at all. Not now thing. Man, this goes with the territory. You lose something, you win something. Ain't no need to cry. Man, then on top of that, on my left side cylinder where y'all see them two hoses hanging at. I got a bad drip up over there, man. It's just a matter of time, man, before that hose just pop. And they go about and they go about 20 gallons of hydraulic fluid and under and probably under 15 seconds go squirting out a mile long. Boy. Man, man, man. So I got Mario, so I got Mario keeping a little eye on it just in case if that leak get too too bad. Then it's like, hey, let's just go ahead and uh Let's go ahead and take it off and go ahead and get another one. Even though them damn suckers right there, boy, they are that boy, they're expensive, man. I think the last time uh, I replaced one, I replaced one on the right side cylinder. I think we spent, uh, I think it was like, I think it was like three, four hundred something dollars for that, just that hose right there, just for that one hose. Like, boy, man. But it is what it is, basically it is what it is. Like I say, it just comes with the territory, man. It's just wear and tear. That's all it is, just wear and tear. Whew. Man, that baby reached 1.5 million, guys. 1.5 million. And gained like 4,000 new followers. Boy. Man, 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 man. I tell you, man, these guys, they just come over here and just mess up every damn thing here. 
Oh wait, it's not even the right car I was looking for right there. It's not even the ones I wanted. The ones I wanted was over here. That damn mission mission right there. That's the one I wanted. Uh, boy, I go ahead and crush the little bitty ones right quick. Get them out the way. And then I gotta, I gotta tackle that big purple one here in a little while. Gee, y'all, man. Oof, that Saturday, that Saturday load that I made, that sucker was heavy, man. Man, that sucker was heavy. Ooh, then they brought me back another damn high trailer, so huh, it was a pretty tall me load, too. Pretty tall load. With Mr. Mario right there, guys. He's back in next. I got some of my damn eye. Let's go ahead and ask a few questions real quick live. So Brian Flat, he had a question. What is the best vehicle made in your opinion? <laughs> Ain't no such thing as a best made vehicle, man. I'm gonna be honest with you, because if it was, we wouldn't be crushing, period. So ain't no such thing as that, man. I mean, in my opinion, best made cars back in the 80s, 90s, those was the best made cars. Didn't really have any problems with them at all that much. You didn't need you didn't need uh, 10,000 different things to keep it moving. All you needed was just oil, gas, and water to keep it moving. Those were, the, in my opinion, those were the best cars made, in my opinion. Now, a lot of these new model cars that we be driving every day, electrical problems, catching fire, you know what I mean? All this old battery technology stuff, man. It's just, hey, it's just, man, it just, in my opinion, man, it's just, it, 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 you know, with these cars here, they're just not worth it sometimes, man. They, they really not, because, like I say, like I say, you're going to end up having some type of problem with some type of car that you end up driving, you know? I mean, I, I just look at it that way. That, that, I mean, that's just the way I see everything like that. I mean, if it was some good made cars, believe me, I'd have been them probably named them, you know? Get this one off in here before this one right here give me problems, which I know it is. Let's see if I can stick it up off in there right quick. Estes had a question. Do you like to eat iguana? Do you like turtle soup or fried rabbit? Man, I'm gonna be honest with you, dude. I never had iguana before. Uh, I have had fried rabbit. Uh, never had turtle soup before, but I have had um, fried frog legs. You know, I mean, they're pretty good. I mean, uh, there's a lot of things that, you know, um, that I have not still tried still today. You know, kind of like um, Indian food. You know, I haven't, I haven't really just tried Indian food before. And then, you know, there's other types of food that I haven't tried before, neither which I would still love to try. Still love to try, man. But in my opinion, in my opinion, I have heard people say that um, that um, um, turtle soup is pretty good. You know, like I say, I have never tried it before, but you know. I mean, that's just, you know, I mean, that's just their opinion on how they say it. Some people have different opinions on what they like, you know. I mean, but it's not too, too bad. I mean, you know, uh, frog legs, they're not pretty bad. Kind of tastes like chicken, just like uh, just like alligator. Alligator tastes like chicken. Uh, snake tastes just like chicken, you know. I mean, there ain't really no, there ain't really no difference. It's a lot of things, y'all, that taste just like chicken when you fry it. It's just like chicken, you know. I mean, <laughs> I mean, it is what it is, baby. It is what it is. <sighs> Come on now. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. 
Ooh, cause I'm starving like Marvin right now, man. Jesus. I already know it's past lunchtime and man. We ain't even we ain't even got a load yet. But it's alright. It's alright. I know Mario, he got something in his eye last week and it's, it's been bothering him now. So right now he's gotta wear he's gotta wear his shades and stuff. But I guess I don't know. Keep the bright light out of his eye or something. I don't know, man. So here come old Angie. Not too long ago, just calling me back. Talking about, uh, can I get a round two? Woman? Damn, you talking about a round two, man? We went We went almost six rounds fucking Sunday. God damn, man. Jesus. You leave a brother on gummy worm mode. I'm like, woman, hey, you gotta make you, 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 you gotta give the thing a break, man. You kind of, you know what I'm saying? You, you can't abuse and abuse, I mean, you know, use and abuse me like that, man, even though I do enjoy it, but still. Golly. You gonna put it to the point to where a brother ain't gonna be able to do nothing at all. He gonna be looking mighty crazy. <laughs> looking mighty crazy because he can't get it up and I gotta eat, uh, I gotta eat Viagra like Skittles. <laughs> oh man, I definitely don't need that right there. Definitely don't need that. Ah, <coughs> uh, Lee. Uh, David, he had a question. He said, you told us about, you like spicy hot sauce. Have you ever tried uh, ghost peppers or Car uh, Carolina Reaper pepper? I got a story for that. So it was a while back, me and Mario, we went to uh, Munster, Texas. That's, I guess, is how it's pronounced it. It's not Munster, it's like M-U-S-T-E-R, something like that. So we went to this restaurant, right? So it's this restaurant that's pretty famous for having some hot wings out there, right? So we get over there to the restaurant. There's only a couple of people off in there. So Mario, he asked for some tacos. And I was like, man, let me get some hot wings. I want the hottest hot wings you got. And the first thing they said, the first thing they said, we got we got the uh, Reaper Pepper hot wings. I said, okay, okay, that's cool. I said, cool, man. He's like, how many do you want? I was like, man, bring me 12 of them. So brought me 12 of them. And if I'm not mistaken, I'm probably like the first person there who probably, who probably tried those. So they brought say say they so so they brought him out there to me. I said okay. So when he set the plate down, I was like, "Ooh man, you smell that fire on it." Mario's like, "No, I don't want that. No, no, no." <laughs> Mario's like, "No." So I said, "Okay, all right." So I hit that first one. I'm like, "Man, that's pretty damn good, but it's hot. It's good." So I hit the second one. I hit the third one. I hit the fourth one. By the time the fifth one came. Mario, he was sitting right there in front of me. Y'all, I had sweat dripping off my nose, man. I had sweat dripping off my nose. So I said, okay, so I wipe my damn nose. Wipe my nose. I hit number six. I hit number seven. Whew, okay, so I get to number eight. Okay. So as I'm eating number eight, I take off my hat. I rub my head, man. My head is full of sweat. I mean, it is full of sweat. So now, so 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 now, as I done ate the eighth one, people they you know said there was a couple off in there looking at me, and they know and they and they know how hot them them damn Reaper Carolina Reapers are. So I'm sitting over there just eating them and eating them, and you know my face is getting all sweaty and everything, and um, so the um, so the cook he come out there, he's standing at the door, and the manager she's there too also, so they looking. And they're like, man, this dude right here really eating them damn many peppers. I said, yeah, man. I said, yeah, man. I mean, these peppers right here. That's why I call them peppers. Call them peppers. So, as I'm still eating them, I get a piece of paper, right? And I wipe my face. And as I wipe my face, I am, I'm like, I'm like, oh, man. Because I'm like, now, whew, these babies right here, they are hot. They are hot, hot, hot. So, the cook, he come out there, he's like, man, you all right? Cause you, you sweating mighty hard. I was like, yeah, I'm all right, man. I'm all, I'm all right, I'm cool. I'm, I'm, I'm good, man, I'm good, I'm good. So, 
So the manager, she come out there and she's like, you all right, sir? I said, yeah, I'm okay. And she's like, is there anything you get that I could get you? I was like, yeah, can you give me a, can you give me a cold beer and some uh, chopped up lime? Because limes has a counter reaction for the hotness, you know what I mean? So it kind of kind of counter reacted to where it doesn't really burn as much. So she brought me some, uh, she brought me some, uh, uh, she brought me some chopped up limes. So I eat the limes. Everything is all good. It's all good and gravy. The fire, the, you know what I'm saying? The fire don't went away. But man, when I get, when I get to number nine, boy, it was over, y'all. It was over with, man. And I had like three more to go. And I was like, man, I'm not going to be able to finish these right here. I'm not going to be able to finish them. I mean, I'm, I'm sweating so damn me hard, y'all. Mario looking at me, and he just over there just laughing. He just laughing his ass off, man. I'm like, I'm like, Mario, help. <laughs> I said, Mario, help. Mario shook his ass up. Mario said, hey, Mario said, no, not my problem. Not my problem. I said, Mario, help. Oh man, <coughs> man! I tell y'all, man, those, 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 man, those damn hot wings were so hot, <sighs> man, boy. I mean, man, in the next morning, cause I, I mean, I'm not gonna tell the whole entire story. We're gonna make a long story short. So the next morning, I paid for it dearly. I paid for it. Dearly, man. Whew. I was like, I was like, man, I love, I love the hot stuffs. I love me, I love the hot stuff. But man, don't, 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 those Carolina, those Carolina Reapers. Never again. Never again, man. I mean, my whole. I tell you right now, man, my whole butthole was on fire, y'all. That was on fire, man. I was uh, I, I was going to get to the point to where I was going to be like uh, me myself and Irene, where uh, where Jim Kirby was off in the restaurant when no girl asked him uh, when no girl asked him, "Are you okay up off in there?" He said, "Oh yeah, I'm just freshening up." Hey, <laughs> I almost went to that point that next morning because then next morning we had to go back out and finish crushing. <laughs> oh man, y'all, <sighs> that was just some. Oh man, that was some. Painful right there, boy. That was some painful stuff right there. Golly. I wonder, man, how much trouble this damn thing gonna get me when I crush it, man? That is the question. How much trouble is it gonna get me? Because I ain't even gonna take the motor out. I'm leaving the motor in this damn thing, man. I'm not taking it out. It's gonna be a pain in my ass. Gotta get Mario to push that cart inside. But he doesn't, he doesn't fall inside of it. At least the tires, at least. Oh, man, there's something right here, Miss B. I know, the, I know the drain rack can support the weight of it. I'm not worried about that. I know that can support the weight. No problem at all whatsoever. No problem. What now? Y'all come and bother me while I... All right, back to where I was at. Man. <laughs> so phase K two, he had a question for me. He said, "What do? Where do the car? Where, where did it? Where do they go after? What? Did I write this right? Where does the cars go after they get crushed? Uh, man. Basically, man. I just load them up on the truck." And they end up going to the mill to go get shredded up, man. They don't really go nowhere else unless it's like a late preload or something like that. Then they, they then they will actually go to the yard. But then the next morning they will go to the mill the next morning. But most of the time, most of the time when they do pick up the loads, they go they go straight to the mill. But it'd be like a day or two before they actually you know process them. I mean, not process them, but start um, start shredding them up and stuff like that. So. I mean, they don't, I mean, it's nothing really special about, you know what I'm saying, where they go and stuff like that, to be honest with you, man. Unless it's like, uh, unless it goes to like a different meal somewhere. Like, um, like Gravel is the biggest one that we have down here. Then we have Liberty. Liberty, it's a, it's a pretty nice size one, but it can't, it, it can't deal with all the, 
real heavy duty stuff like Grinnell can because they got a bigger they got a bigger shredder that can actually deal with some of the big, you know, heavy duty stuff. Unless it's like, you know, buses or something like that, which they end up using those shear cutters and stuff like that to uh, cut everything all up before it actually goes in the uh, shredder itself. That way it can get, uh, that way it can get shredded up pretty good and not, and not do any damage to the shredder itself. What's gonna break up out this baby here? Probably nothing, but I gotta, I gotta jog it down, man. I gotta jog it down. God, come on, baby, come on, baby. Oof, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. I'm leaving that mode off in there. Don't even look at it. Nope, stand up off in there. I ain't got time for it. I'm leaving that motor right up off in there. That's just, that's just the way it's gonna be, sir. Oh, hey, what the hell's going on with my crusher? I thought this baby here was finna get stop picking up. Huh. It's all right. It's all right. Oops. Let's go ahead and get this sucker up out of here right quick. I think we can. I think we can. Well, y'all know what time it is. Y'all know how the story ends. I'll get back with y'all on another episode. Peace, I'm out.